Hi, I'm Mrs. Murray. Welcome to Discovery Institute Academy. We are rolling out our first online high school science course this fall, and it's chemistry. And I thought you should know a little bit about who I am, because I'm going to be your instructor for this course. So first of all, I was excited about chemistry in 11th grade in high school. I literally recall sitting at my desk, and instead of participating in class discussion, I was reading my book. Yes. Why? Because I wanted to know everything there was to know about chemistry. I wanted to understand it, and I was captivated in 11th grade by its elegance, by its beauty, by its organization. And that interest in chemistry continued on to college. I had the choice of subject matter, and I chose biochemistry simply because in the word biochemistry is the word chemistry. And I thought, yes, I want to take as much chemistry as I can. And I did. I took a lot of chemistry, and each time I did, I would sit down with my professors and I would pester them with questions. Again, because I was mesmerized by the subject and I wanted to know as much as possible. It was only much later that I was introduced to the theory of intelligent design, the idea that there are certain aspects of the universe of life that are better explained by an intelligent agent, by a mind, than a blind, unguided material process. And that resonated with me. I thought I had already picked up on some of the elegance and the structure of chemistry, and maybe, maybe chemistry was better explained by an intelligent agent, by a mind. But it's not just my love of chemistry that brings me here today. Let me assure you, I am a chemistry nerd, as you heard, but I'm also motivated by students themselves. Ask anybody who knows me and they will tell you, I'm always with teens. They're eating my food. They're in my car. We're going camping. We're hitting the drive through We're working problems. The reality is I like teenagers. I like spending time with youth. And so it makes perfect sense that I want to teach this course and hang out with you, okay? But I also like to teach. Teaching is amazing. Imagine you get to introduce somebody to your favorite subject every day. Yes, please. That's exactly what we're going to do here. And so I assure you, I haven't forgotten what it is like to be a student. I remember being intimidated of science. And I also remember learning very quickly how to mask the fact that I didn't understand something, not wanting to let on that I didn't, quote, get it. And so I want to invite you in this class, take the mask off. Come on in and say, I don't get it. Come on in and ask me to explain it a different way. Welcome. Please do that. Questions are welcome in this class. I want you to ask questions. Maybe you're still a little bit on the fence, though. You're thinking, man, I don't think I can take a chemistry course online. There's going to be a huge gap between my, myself and my instructor. Let me address that. So I'm a Washington State certified teacher. I've got 10 years of teaching experience, and I've got endorsements in chemistry, biology, and general science. But even cooler than that, I've been teaching online for seven years, and six of those were in chemistry. And I think if you were to ask my students, did they feel disconnected from me, I think they would say no. We engaged with one another on a regular basis, and they got the type of support and help that I would offer them if I was next to them in a classroom. I'm offering that to you as well. Um, what can you expect are other ways I'm going to bridge that divide? Well, first of all, we're going to meet three times a week in a Zoom session, a place that you can post questions on the chat board, a place you can raise your hand like a classroom and say, I've got a question, and a place we can kind of work through and flesh out different chemistry topics. We're also right after class going to have a drop-in session, totally optional, but you can hang out with me and your peers, work chemistry problems in real time, ask additional questions. Awesome, right? But suppose you're a student who's a little shy. Maybe you don't like being online with like other students. Okay, email me. We'll set up a one-on-one. -on -one. We can work some problems together, intentionally give you all my time and my focus. Um, what kinds of topics are we going to do in this class? Well, of course, that's what I'm excited about, right? We're first semester course, we're going to look at the fundamentals of chemistry. We're going to look at the process of science. We're going to look at atoms and matter. We're going to look at how our electrons kind of organized in the atom, and then how do we take those electrons and form chemical bonds, connections between atoms. Then we're going to say, how do we break those bonds and reform those bonds in chemical reactions? We're going to wrap up first semester by saying, okay, is there a way to predict how much reactant is consumed and product is made? Roll into second semester, and we're going to be looking at more nuanced kind of deep concepts of chemistry, 
things like thermodynamics, fancy word for is heat being given off by a reaction or is heat being taken in. We're going to look at things like kinetics, rates of reactions, ways to make a reaction run faster. We're going to look at equilibrium, which is so cool. The idea that reactions can be reversible, they can go in both directions. And of course, we're going to look at nuclear chemistry, which is a fantastic topic. Things like nuclear power plants, nuclear bombs. I'm excited to get to all of this. Throughout that process, though, we're going to always kind of step back in the same way that I did as a high school student. We're going to say, wait, this is beautiful. This is elegant. This is well structured. And we're going to be asking the same question I did, which is, is this beauty, this elegance and this structure, is it best explained by an unguided natural process or is it better explained by a mind? And I think one of the things that I do want to say is as amazing as chemistry is, and I, I hope I've convinced you that it is, it does not produce the type of information that we need for life. That's another aspect of the course that we're going to be thinking about. So what are you going to be doing in this course? I'm sure that's a question that you're wondering about. Let's go there. All right, so for starters, you're going to be joining me and your peers three times a week in online class Zoom sessions. Again, a place to ask questions, post something in the chat box. You're going to be dropping in on class drop-in sessions, totally optional, just a place to get more help and work problems. But you're also going to be running labs at home. You're going to be working through online simulations that are fantastic from a company called Labster. You are also going to be doing some prep prior to class so that you come informed, engaged, ready to roll. Things like reading content, watching films. Um, I think you're going to find that the class is dynamic and you've got a lot to look forward to. Um, again, I'm Mrs. Murray. So excited to welcome you to this first ever Discovery Institute Academy course and welcome to see you in the fall for chemistry.